The personal uh, involvement of President Medvedev helps sides uh, to come closer to the settlement. Therefore, our expectations are uh, uh, optimistic, and we think that if Armenian side will show constructive approach and will uh, find the political will to make important step forward, the conflict can be resolved very soon. What should the Armenian side do in order to be constructive, as you said? As far as the negotiation process is concerned, the basic principles which were offered by mediators to both sides are uh, in line with internationally recognized law norms, uh, which are territorial integrity of the countries and self-governance uh, of the people. These two principles, they are not confronting. They are uh, both important, and both of them can be provided in the peace agreement. What Azerbaijan is ready to give in, in case of a withdrawal of uh, Armenian forces from Nagorno-Karabakh? Is Az Azerbaijan offering something? Actually, we do know we do not owe something which uh, does not belong to us to give it back. Nagorno-Karabakh is a historic land of Azerbaijan and internationally recognized territory of Azerbaijan. Yeah, but the Armenian will withdraw their troops only under some peculiar condition, as, for instance, the self-determination or the autonomy, a strong autonomy of the region, I suppose. For many years, our position was very clear, and uh, several times I personally publicly declare that we are ready to grant the highest possible autonomy existing in the world to uh, people who live in Nagorno-Karabakh and who will return back to Nagorno-Karabakh. How should this autonomy work, according to you? That will be the subject for future negotiations. And uh, to our mind, it, should, it could be a vast autonomy. Um, the positive example of autonomies existing in Europe, I think, could be uh, very attractive because it will be difficult for us to invent something new. We have these positive examples in European countries. For instance? For instance, in uh, Italy, in uh, Tyrol, in other places, where a central government pays a lot of attention, maybe much more attention, to autonomy and financial support is much broader in order to provide uh, decent living conditions for the people. We can do the same. Azerbaijan is a country with vast financial resources. And for us, it will not be a big problem to implement uh, uh, serious social and economic development programs for Nagorno-Karabakh. What is your impression about the current uh, Armenian political leadership approach to this problem? Do you think that are, they are more open-minded than in the past? Until a certain uh, period of time, uh, there was a mood in Armenia that they will keep the status quo as long as they can, and they will succeed in doing that. But important developments in recent months uh, show that international community and the co-chairs of the Minsk Group, uh, United States, Russia and France, and their leaders made a very straightforward statement that status quo is not acceptable. This was uh, the uh, events of the recent months. That there is a clear understanding in the world that Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is not a frozen one. It is not. And the uh, ceasefire is very fragile. And the permanent violation of ceasefire on the line of contact is of serious concern, I think, to all of us to Azerbaijan, to Armenia, to international community. Another important uh, moment is that the balance of powers between Armenia and Azerbaijan changed dramatically during the last several years. Today, for instance, the budget spendings of Ar Azerbaijan are 10 times more than of Armenia. All military budget of Azerbaijan is more than the total budget of Armenia. And this is a reality. And the more time passes, the gap between two countries will be even bigger.